So I have a tent outside SpaceX and I'm going to be searching for Elon Musk until he accepts to give me a hug. Day one. Oh, TikTok, an app that has single-handedly changed what society views as normal social behavior. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now, TikTok is obviously a gigantic platform. It has something like over a billion monthly users. And while that might not be as big as something like YouTube, when the videos are only like 10 seconds long, the amount of media one person can consume is absolutely insane. And in turn, when you're watching five, six, seven videos a minute, the crazy things you're exposed to are slowly made less crazy in your brain. Weird acts become less weird, unacceptable pranks become, well, less unacceptable. I don't claim to be a psychology expert, but I do know that the more somebody is exposed to something, the more normalized it becomes in their brain. And because there's a lot of uh, unfavorable content on TikTok, there's been a lot of unfavorable behavior that's been normalized over the last couple of years. And I think a good example of this is the TikToker Phidias. Now, now, Phidias has done some questionable things on TikTok and YouTube in the past, but I'm here to talk about his most recent endeavor where he is trying to get a hug from Elon Musk. Now, apparently this is like the end goal for a video he's making where he hugs 99 celebrities and Elon Musk is going to be the last. Now, it's already kind of weird to go out of your way to hug 99 celebrities, but the way that this has been going down with Elon Musk takes it to a whole new level. He's been at it for almost two months at this point, and he's been doing it by basically camping outside of where where Elon works, and it's just very strange and uncomfortable to watch unfold, and I think you'll agree. Let's begin. Please subscribe. So I have a tent outside SpaceX, and I'm going to be searching for Elon Musk until he accepts to give me a hug. This is day one. We're just starting. All right, so this is the premise. Now, I don't really know how legitimate this is, but it seems to be pretty much real. I know it's not super clear from this video, but he's planning on living in this tent until he gets the hug, and he probably goes home at night or something, but it seems that he actually spends most of the day out here. He's kind of a Mr. Beast kind of content creator where his content is categorized by just doing crazy stuff. So this really wouldn't be out of character. So this is the basic idea. Day five of living outside SpaceX until Elon Musk accepts to hug me. I'm going to vlog for you guys to see what I'm doing all day. This is my bed. First thing I do is put sunscreen. Ooh, that's a lot of sunscreen. But I'm like, yeah. I have my YouTube name there because I don't want people to think that I'm homeless and I need money. And I sit here all the day. All right, so this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Now, obviously, most of the comments on a video like this are going to be from children, but I'm sure there's still some teenagers and adults who watch this and comment. And all of the comments are positive. Oh, I hope Elon gives you the hug soon. Why hasn't he given you the hug yet? People questioning Elon's actions and not questioning this guy's. Five years ago, this, this would not be considered YouTube content, it would be considered a stalking. And I'm going to be jumping around because I don't want to make this video two or three hours long, but there is a video for each and every day, up to day 47 as I'm recording this, and it seems pretty legitimate. I don't have any concrete evidence to say it's not. So this guy is really out here every day. I have Elon Musk number and I'm going to call him and I'm shaking now. Day 15 of living outside SpaceX until Elon Musk agrees to give me a hug. There is a lot of car noises here, so I'm going to go in my car to call him. Oh my well, I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm scared. A SpaceX employee gave me this phone number, but he may be just pulling a prank on me. Let's see. What should I say if he answers? I want to give you a hug. This is weird, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you can relate with me. Um, no, can't say that I really do. I do not idolize celebrities to the point where I'm willing to camp out of their workplace for two months just to try and get a hug. Not very relatable to me. Don't know about you guys. I'm calling. Thank you for calling Tesla. If you know your party's extension, press 9. Thank you for calling Tesla. So that was the wrong phone. I think we all saw that coming, did we not? But you know who probably didn't? The children watching this. I mean, obviously this guy did not think this was really Elon Musk's phone number, but it makes for a good thumbnail and it gets kids clicking. So, you know, business is booming, baby. I asked Mr. Beast the most important question. Elon Musk is your idol as well, right? Mm -hmm. 
do you think I will have Elon in the end of the video? Before Mr. Beast gives us an answer, you might be wondering what I mean by the end of the video. Let me explain. I spent the last year hugging 99 celebrities, including Spider-Man, the main actor from Squid Games, and a lot more. All this for a YouTube video. And I wanted Elon to be the 100 because he's my favorite person in the world. Guys, I've got to give some of you a really harsh reality check that you might not want to hear. I mean, you've probably heard it before. This is not going to apply to everyone, obviously. But if your favorite person in the world is a celebrity, better yet, someone who doesn't know you exist, your priorities might be in the wrong place. There's absolutely nothing wrong with liking a celebrity or liking what they do, liking their movies, their songs, whatever they do. But if they're your genuine favorite person over like, you know, your family who does know you and does love you, you need to rethink some things. I have a surprise for you. Where's your sign? Yesterday it was very windy and it blew. So I lost my sign. I didn't like that sign. I guess Mother Nature didn't like that sign either. I need you to close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> oh, she has been Day 25 of living outside SpaceX until Elon Musk gives me a hug. Can you help me install it? Anything you want, baby. Anything you want. Let's go. When Elon goes inside, he will notice me. All right, so this is really what I'm talking about in this video. You know, it's one thing for one guy to go do something. That does not mean society's values have changed. But when people start coming out to support this, instead of saying, you know, this is not really normal, this is kind of weird, you shouldn't be camping outside of somebody's workplace until they hug you, that's, in my opinion, when you can really start to kind of see the values shifting. Now, I know that this guy who brought the sign is another YouTuber, but he has videos of families coming up, people coming up to support him, saying, oh, I love what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. That's not okay to me. And yes, I know that Elon Musk is arguably the most famous person on the planet right now, but that doesn't change my stance. Nobody would want anybody camped outside of their workplace or their house demanding a hug. That's weird. Elon Musk finally noticed me. After 27 days of living outside SpaceX, in order to give him a hug. Let me explain what happened. Yesterday, I asked my followers on Instagram to go spam his mother to tell him to hug me. And his mother today uploaded a tweet saying, this. What is good about Twitter is you can complain about spamming on Instagram. Fidias asked his IG followers to spam me. I have removed over 500 comments. Elon Musk, please do not hack this malicious man. Stay safe. And after a couple of minutes, Elon Musk answered with this emoji in her tweet. I love you guys. I never wanted to cause you trouble. Mrs. Musk, I'm sorry. All right. So this is where I think it kind of takes a turn for the worst. I mean, staying outside of SpaceX for a month is already pretty bad, but it just kind of progressively gets worse from here. So first off, you didn't really cause your followers any trouble. You're pretty much only causing the Musk family trouble. And I know some people will say stuff like, oh, well, he's Elon Musk. What do you expect? I think that's a pretty dangerous ideology to accept. I mean, just because someone's famous doesn't mean they deserve to be harassed. And there would be something respectable if it ended here. Like right now, even though it's weird, it's not like he's really done that much harm. He's just kind of lived on a public road that happened to be by SpaceX. I would like to include, since I haven't shown every single video, that he hasn't been asked to leave. Nobody from SpaceX or nobody sent by Elon has complained about his presence, so there's that. But once you've done this and you've mobilized your fan base to kind of go attack a woman into forcing her to make her son hug you, and she asks you to stop and Elon Musk kind of agrees, this is where it should be over. You should say, okay, obviously this is not going to happen. I might have overstepped. I'm done. But a uh, spoiler, he doesn't. I decided to leave SpaceX. This is day 33 of me living outside SpaceX until Elon Musk gives me a hug. So I came here before Elon bought Twitter. And since then, Elon was not here. This was a very difficult decision for me to leave from here. I want to move and stay outside Twitter headquarters. And hopefully, I will have better luck there. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to him. I just want to give him a big hug because I love him and I want to finish what I started. I mean, you can say whatever you'd like. That doesn't necessarily mean it's true. You might not be trying to disrespect him, but I think you know that you might be. If the guy and his mother both have basically asked you to stop and you won't stop, I don't know what else you'd call that. All right, so the next video is him traveling to San Francisco to follow Elon Musk. Now look, I don't know this guy, so this is all just my opinion, but this is starting to seem a bit obsessed. 
impressive. I really think if this guy wasn't already famous, or if he wasn't saying that he's doing it for a YouTube video, this would be much more negatively received. Following a celebrity across the country and spending months of your life trying to get a hug from them, I really wish that was not being praised on TikTok. I've gotta be honest. Elon Musk's bodyguard came and told me that they respect what I'm doing, that I stand outside his company for 47 days without leaving, just to give him a hug. But he said that they can't allow this to happen because if he hugs me, then hundreds of people will come outside Twitter and ask him for stuff. This is not a good news, but failure is not an option. So I'm going to continue being here and hopefully they change their mind. All right, so stuff like this is why I say it gets so much worse. To credit the guy at first, there was nobody really telling him not to do this. You know, nobody on Elon's team was like, hey man, we'd really like you to stop. But since he's come to San Francisco, there's been the tweet, there's been the police called on him, not because he's done anything wrong. I mean, yeah, this is weird, but technically the guy has not broken any laws, so keep that in mind. But the cops were called by Twitter security to tell him that they do not want him to enter the building. And now apparently he talked to Elon's bodyguard. Obviously, that could be fake. But if it's not, and he's still choosing to go forward with this, it's just getting way too weird. Well, like I said, this is where it ends for now. This is the most recent video as I'm recording this. And it's really just kind of scary how much TikTok seems to have changed things. I mean, celebrity worship is nothing new, but I don't think this kind of behavior like 10 or 20 years ago would have been supported at this level. I mean, there are millions and millions and millions of commenters supporting this, and that's just, that's just not okay. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think this has all gone a bit too far, or am I just taking it too seriously? I'm genuinely curious because clearly this is a polarizing topic because millions of people seem to disagree with me, and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Personally, following him to Twitter and sending your fan base after his mom and then ignoring the tweet is all just a bit too much for me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.